You're here at Sea Otter, uh, Mark Helms with Giant Bicycles and Liv. Uh, we're here to talk about the new LaFree E Plus. So this is new for us uh, this year. This bike is really unique in it doesn't it has a few things that our other e-bikes do not offer and it has an auto mode what this auto mode does is you put it in auto it will adjust according to the power that you're putting on the pedals but it will also indicate incline in a hill so if you start going up a hill and it senses you need more power it will go through those five power bands up to the most depending on what you need and it will do it automatically so that is really unique this bike has six sensors in it versus our other bikes that have four sensors and the other one is a torque more torque sensor and a incline sensor to detect the hill increase in the hill yeah so it's it's really if you get a chance to test ride it it's an amazing ride get it on a hill and you really can feel that auto mode come in so yeah. it's kind of like setting it and forgetting it right absolutely and and i think that this customer is more apt to that kind of feel they don't really want the extra you know reaching and going through the buttons and trying to find the power mode they need they would rather have it do automatically for them and that's it's it's a seamless feel it's absolutely unbelievable if you ever get a chance to test ride this bike have them put it in auto mode it's very simple to put it in auto mode it's a, just two clicks to get it into auto mode and off you go um, it is a 60 newton meter motor so it's a little smaller motor than our mountain bikes and our road bikes but you wouldn't even feel it it's when in the auto mode it's absolutely amazing there's two models there's a belt drive model for 2400 that's the e uh the free e1 and then we have the LeFree E2, which is a chain drive model, uh, a little less expensive at $2,000 in two colorways. It's a 400 watt Panasonic battery, um, awesome comfortable ride, adjustable stem, just fenders, well equipped for your beach cruising, going to the grocery store, anything that you need to do comes with a headlight on it, comes with a tail light on it. So absolutely amazing again new for 2019 the lafree e plus okay also for this year new e mountain bikes from giant and live so this is the intrigue e plus this thing is absolutely awesome it has an integrated battery coming from the bottom with two locking systems so this battery on the roughest terrain will never fall out on you it's 150 millimeter front travel 140 millimeter rear travel uh, this one comes with a 500 watt battery and comes with 36 volt system and it has the new pro motor in it uh, it is lighter than last year's standard sport motor. It gives you also a little bit more power and it has a narrower bottom bracket so it really feels like you're riding a normal mountain bike. It's awesome. Your legs aren't spread out really wide. Uh, very narrow Q factor. It feels just like a normal bike. It's, it's absolutely amazing to ride. As well as, so we have the new Trance E Plus bike. So these are all our mountain bikes on the e-bike versions are all plus bikes also panasonic battery coming from the bottom with a dual locking system battery will never fall out on you it has the pro motor so it is again lighter and more powerful than last year's sport motor it's an awesome riding bike it does have different geometry than the full e last year so it actually has true mountain bike geometry with a slacker head angle and just a fantastic off-road riding vehicle also wanted to point out one thing on the mountain bikes we have no screen this year last year we had a control screen now we have a control unit it gives you light power indication of battery and then on this side would give you indicator of what mode you're in now if you prefer a screen you can download the control app so ride control app doesn't cost anything download it for free it's absolutely amazing because it does more than the actual screen did before the screen just gave you power life mileage you're going time just random stuff like that where the the app will actually give you mapping so you can map your trail map your ride you can adjust your power mode per mode so you can adjust what your power is putting out in the motor per mode so the five modes that we give you 
each one can be adjusted by that app, which is really unique. Um, so it does give you a lot more options than the screen did last year. On the Intrigue E, we only have one of the Intrigue E's, okay, the, for the Live. Just one model for the Live. On the Trance E, we actually have three Trance E model. What you see here is the Pro 1. That one's at 5565 right here. Then we have the Pro Zero, more geared towards your rougher riding downhill, a uh, little longer travel fork with a coilover and piggyback. That one retailing just over $7,000 at $7,035. Then we have the Trancy Pro 2 Plus, the blue one, at same battery, same motor, everything frame-wise and motor-wise, battery is the same, just di different component spec, and that one is our lower-priced one at $48.30. And then new for this year is our Stance E. So the Stance E is not a Maestro system, it's a co-pivot design, so it doesn't have the Maestro system. Very fun bike, works very well. This one has the, the sport motor, so it has a little wider bottom bracket. It's the motor that we used last year, so it's a little heavier. A little less powerful, but only by 10%. The, the Trance and the Intrigue E will give you 360% more than you're putting out. The Stance E will give you 350%, so only 10% difference. Not a, not a noticeable difference at all. This is the Embolden E by Liv. This is very similar to the Stance E, same co-pivot design. Um, this bike is the Sport Motor little wider, only 10% less powerful as far as it gives you 360, 350% more than you're putting out. Um, it is a four inch travel bike. It's a fantastic riding bike. It comes in that price range at 3,500. So complete full suspension mountain bike, e-bike at 3,500. Completely capable off-road machine. And this is the Stancy that I was talking about earlier. This bike is a sport Yamaha motor with sync drive. All our bikes have sync drive, which is unique to giant Yamaha. So it's, if you hop on another bike with a Yamaha motor, it does not have sync drive and it will not feel the same. The sync drive gets a, a seamless feel to power. When you put the power down, the torque sensors in the motor that giant puts in there, that giant engineered the sync drive, gives it a really natural feel, no surging. It's an incredible feel for the electric motor. So give it a try for sure, because it does ride different than a Yamaha or any Yamaha motor. Okay, so this is the 2019 Quickie. This is the same Quickie that we had last year, just a few design changes as far as color and how the battery is connected with the frame and just slight change it. It is the same bike as the 2018 model. Um, there's been a few changes as far as spec. Uh, we have a rear rack that actually, you can buy the rack itself aftermarket, but it goes right onto the fender mount where last year you had to buy an ex um, a different rack and mount that on where this r fender rack is capable of mounting a top rack and using it as a rack system. So that is unique to the 2019, which is really, really nice. Uh, this is the Roadie. The Roadie has a few changes, uh, geomet geometry changes as well as placement. We have, instead of the battery being on top it, and coming out, it's side mounted. So the battery slides in, sleeker look, better look into the frame. Uh, this one also has the pro motor versus the sport motor last year. So like I said before, this bike is the motor is lighter and a little bit more powerful than the sport motor. This is a 28 mile an hour on road bike, which is absolutely awesome. And this does have sync drive as well, just like all our e-bike Yamaha motors. Uh, sync drive is applied to the motor, which is Giants technology. Um, it's a 28 mile an hour bike. Last year it was a 20 mile an hour bike. It does have the sport motor in it. Um, it does, it's more of a, like what we call a gravel bike. 
um, an adventure bike, off-road capable, fantastic riding bike, a little bit different geometry than our road bike, so handles the off-road a little bit better. Okay, so I wanna let you know that the uh, all the electronics and the battery have a two-year warranty or 600 uh, charges on the battery, full charges. So, you know, if you get down to 80% and you throw it on the charger at 20, it, that doesn't count as a full charge, okay? But if you do that, five times is going to count it as a full charge okay so 600 charges or two years on the battery and two years on the electronic components also this new for this year is we have a smart charger which is awesome you can run this battery down to zero go for a morning ride run it down to zero smart charger throw it on in three and a half hours full charge and then you're riding in the afternoon where last year our charger was almost seven hours for a full charge so once you rode it for the day you're pretty much done and charging it riding it the next day where this bike you can get two really good rides out of it because again three and a half hour on the smart charger full charge okay so a lot of questions i get are from consumers how long can i ride this bike and again it it depends on rider weight terrain temperature outside so it's all variable right um my personally i don't want to tell you how heavy i am but i'm not light um i'm a mountain biker i have ridden my e-bike over 5,000 feet of climbing over 37 miles and close to four hours on one charge so, in, you know, of course you, you manually go through the modes. You know, if you're gonna ride it in power mode the full time, you're, you know, you're not gonna get a very long ride. But if you modulate it through eco and up, and again, these bikes have a tremendous amount of power, I find myself riding in the th bottom three modes almost the entire time. Unless I'm hitting a grade of 29% or greater, that's when you'll find me in the full power mode, and that is just to get up that hill. But other than that, I'm in down in the three modes and it's plenty of power. And again, riding almost four hours, almost 40 miles and over 5,000 feet of climbing. So again, it depends on how you utilize the power. When is it gonna be how far you go? But you, that is, this bike is completely capable of riding over 5,000 feet of climbing and four hours. Okay, so this is a breakdown of the motor. This is our pro motor, okay? has kind of an octolink spline bottom bracket with a narrow Q factor, meaning your, you know, your pedals are closer, feeling more like a natural bike. And it also is lighter by about 60 or 70 grams lighter than this is the sport motor. You can see it's bigger, bigger. It has a square tapered bottom bracket and it is much wider. Okay, also heavier and not quite as much power, but very close. Uh, this is the battery. Okay, it is fire and proof case, so it's something you know we've never had a problem with. I've never heard of one blowing up, but it is a peace of mind if you got it parked next to your Tesla in the garage and the thing blows up, it should be self contained. Um, again, never heard of one even remotely coming close to blowing up or anything like that. So, you know, um, here is your smart charger. That is your smart charger. That it is going to charge your battery in three and a half hours. And uh, like I said before, a lot of our bikes do not come with the screen. But if you prefer the screen, you can purchase it aftermarket with a different control unit and you can ride with the screen. But I would prefer and suggest that you try the ride control app first because it is absolutely amazing. No cost to you, free download, and it gives you much more than this screen would give you. GiantBicycle.com to find out any and all information on all our e-bikes. New, old, we have the archives so you can find out about our old ones, our new ones. Like I, we did this interview last year, and I think I even surprised you telling you that Giant has been doing e-bikes for 20 years. So we have a, a very deep history in e-bikes. So it's not something new for us. We have a lot of technology, a lot of engineers that work extremely hard on our bikes, and they are highly capable on-road bikes, off-road bikes. Please come check them out at any demos that we do. We offer demos for the e-bikes. Just go online, check the site for our demos that we're doing, giantbicycle.com, 
and we also have the live site too so giantbicycle.com and then click on the live and that'll give you those demos as well